So she's made an appointment. How much later? Within a few days? Yes, because um, I, I made an appointment to come in on the 7th of July. July 7th? Yes. Okay, so you went in on July 7 and? Um, Laurel was not there. Okay, so she wasn't there. And yes. then? I called her and she said that I texted you at 4 o'clock in the morning to let you know that I was not going to be able to keep the appointment. Well, okay. at 4 o'clock in the morning, I was asleep. Okay, but she texted you. Did you, listen to me, did you check your text messages to see whether there was a text message from her? No, I didn't. You mean you never checked your text message to I, see if there was a text message from her that she couldn't keep the appointment? I, um, Your Honor, around about that time, I didn't check my text messages because the month before this, my husband passed away. So it was a lot of things going on. Listen to on. me. Listen to me. Yes. It's not relevant to this case. I understand. Okay. Yes. Whether she texted you at 4 o'clock in the morning because she wanted you to get it first thing in the morning that she wasn't going to be able to keep the appointment, that's not unreasonable. When did you stop payment on the check? I believe it was... Um, the same day. I'm not sure if it was the same day. The 7th? I mean the 7th. When she wasn't there to keep the appointment. Then it was about the 9th that I stopped payment. Why did you wait until the 9th? Because... Laurel and I were having a discussion. I wanted to make an appointment with her. I wanted her to meet with me. But um, this wasn't the first time Laurel was a no-show. This, was, this wasn't the first time she did not keep her agreement with me. Okay. You have to pay her for the wig. $370 plus the your cancel Honor, check fees. Uh, your yeah. Honor, yeah. You Laurel pay for the wig. damaged the hair that I paid for. She overprocessed Listen the hair. Listen to me, Miss Bailey. Yes. Listen very, very carefully. Yes. I just went through the steps with you. You went. The only thing that you subsequent to paying her for complained about was that you wanted another band put in the hair. The hair didn't become overprocessed between the fifth when you picked it up and the ninth when you cashed the check. And if it was overprocessed, you did it yourself because you looked at the hair. You looked at it, you had it on, she blew it dry, you said, eh, it's better now, and then you paid her. So if what you're complaining about, what you were complaining about is that she wasn't there for an appointment or two appointments to put another band in the hair. Your counterclaim is, I want money for the hair because I didn't like the hair. You already paid for the wig. Do you understand? After you saw it and tried it on and had her re-blow it dry and put other product in it, you had it on. You paid her. Put your hand down. You paid her. Do you understand? E so the nonsense about it's overprocessed later. You made it up later because when you asked her to see you the next day, it wasn't to fix the hair. It was to put a band in the wig. That's what you just told me. The wig Three was times. incomplete, Your Honor. $370. That's what you owe her. That's the cancel check fees of $35. $405 is what you owe her. Your counterclaim is dismissed. We're done. Your Honor. We're done. Uh, Your Honor, I have triple damages. We are by California we state are, law, we it are says that I am finished. eligible for we are triple damages. Finished. Audition is over. We're done. Do you understand? <laughs> You're getting paid for the wig, as well you should.